Tensions between North Korea and South Korea escalated further after North Korea fired over 130 artillery rounds into South Korea thereby breaching the buffer zone. The rounds were fired from two separate sites, one on North Korea's east coast and one on the west coast. The South's Joint Chiefs of Staff said in a statement on Monday, North Korea military called the artillery firing a warning against the ongoing South Korean artillery exercises near the inland border town of Cheorwon and blamed the South for worsening tensions. The buffer zone was established via a 2018 agreement in a bid to reduce tensions between the North and the South, and Seoul called the North Korea's actions a clear violation of the agreement. The North Korea military said that none of the shells crossed the northern limit line, the de facto maritime border between the two countries. The military said that it had issued several warnings over the barrage without giving any further details. Our military is strengthening its readiness posture in preparation for emergencies while tracking and monitoring related developments under close cooperation between South Korea and the United States, the North Korea military added. At a summit in Pyongyang in 2018, Former South Korean President Moon Jae-in and the North's Kim Jong-un agreed to establish buffer zones along the land and the sea boundaries in a bid to reduce tensions. But since the talks collapsed in 2019, Kim has doubled down on his banned weapons programs. And experts say that he may now be testing South Korea by violating the buffer zone agreement. Pyongyang has fired artillery into the buffer zone repeatedly in the recent months and has also conducted a record-breaking blitz of missile launches in the recent weeks. The UN Security Council has banned Pyongyang from firing ballistic missiles, but Pyongyang has repeatedly claimed that its weapon tests are a legitimate response to Washington's moves to boost the protection it offers to allies Seoul and Tokyo. The Korean conflict is an ongoing conflict based on the division of Korea between North Korea that is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and South Korea that is the Republic of Korea both of which claim to be the sole legitimate government of all of Korea During the Cold War North Korea was backed by the Soviet Union China and other allies while South Korea was backed by the United States and its western allies The division of Korea by the United States and the Soviet Union occurred in 1945. Both the superpowers created a government in their own image. Tensions erupted into the Korean War which lasted from 1950 to 1953. When the war ended, both the countries were devastated, but the division remained. North and South Korea continued a military standoff with periodic clashes. The conflict survived the end of Cold War and continues to this day. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.